A combination of these four AI tools will allow you to make cartoon-like stories or movies for completely free. You just need to know how to use them. After you watch this video, you will know exactly how to make something like this. In a lush green forest filled with twinkling sunlight and fluttering butterflies, Benny, a small brown bear with a curious nose, wanders about. He sniffs the air, his nose twitching as it catches the sweet scent of honey. Benny follows the tantalizing aroma to a tall, majestic oak tree. High above, nestled between sturdy branches, he spots a golden beehive dripping with shiny, sticky honey. His eyes light up with delight. He climbs the tree and breaks the twine the honeycomb hangs on. Then Benny shared the honey with his friend Bob. This entire video was generated for free only using AI tools. And there's a rise coming up in AI video generation tools. Take this channel for example, it's called Bible in a Nutshell. And what they've done, they've generated storytelling videos with AI. A long, long time ago, after Moses led the Israelites out of Egypt and through the Red Sea, they traveled through the desert to a place called Mount Sinai. It has generated over 7.5 million views and has generated more than 5k in revenue per month. Getting to this level of quality is very hard and expensive. So that's why I'm going to show you how you can create similar type videos for completely free. I will also give you a complete step-by-step -step guide which you can access for free by clicking the link in the description down below. So there's a five-step process to making these kind of videos. First of all, we have to start creating our story. Then we have to generate a voiceover. Next up, we have to make images with AI. And then we have to turn those images into video. Lastly, we put the entire thing together in our software. For this, I'll be using CapCut. So first off, let's start by generating our story through ChatGPT. So I've created this GPT bot, a animated storyteller, where you can basically create a story with a prompt. For example, you can create a story, create a 100 word story about a brown bear. Now this will write a story that you can use for your animated video. It will also give you some prompts to images. Sometimes it messes up like here, then you can try to try it again, or you can even ask it to generate a prompt for each sentence that you can use later. After a couple of tries, this is the story that I made from ChatGPT. Now you need to have ChatGPT4 if you want to access that bot, but you can also just ask it to create a short story in a Disney style animation and then you enter some specifics. So eventually I've taken the best pieces from this script and then this is my complete script. So now we can move over to step number two and that is creating a voiceover through a realistic AI voiceover generator. And the best option for this is called Eleven Labs. Now within Eleven Labs, it is completely free up to a certain amount of characters. If you stay within that, you can just use it. Then with Eleven Labs, you have to select a good sounding voice for storytelling. So ideally you can create that yourself. You go over to voices, then you can create a generative or cloned voice. Then here we can do a voice design and here we can select what we want. So for example, we can do male, then we want to do old and I want them to sound British. Then we select the accent strength and I'm gonna keep it like right here. And now we can click on generate. First, we thought the PC was a calculator. Then we found out how to turn numbers into letters and we thought it was a typewriter. So that sounds quite good. Now we can use this voice. I'm gonna name it. Now we can describe it if we want to. So storytelling. And now we created our voice. Next up, we go to speech. We copy your script, then we go back to 11 Labs, copy the script, select the voice. You can also use this Daniel voice, I found it to be very good. But now we're gonna use the old whiskey drinking bloke telling a story. So now I'm gonna generate the speech. In a lush green forest filled with twinkling sunlight and fluttering butterflies, Benny, a small brown bear with a curious nose, wanders about. He sniffs the air his nose twitching as it catches the sweet scent of honey. So that sounds really, really good. Now we download this and we're gonna use this later. Next up is we have to generate some images for our scene. For this, there are a bunch of options out there. Ideally, you would like to use Midjourney or ChatGPT. But given that both of those options aren't free, we're gonna use something that is called Leonardo AI. And this option is great and you get a certain amount of free credits with it. 
you get about 150 credits and one generation of image costs you about three to five or maybe even 10 credits depending on what kind of prompts you're using. Within Leonardo AI, you want to change some of the settings. So for this, we're gonna go with a 16 by nine. And by that, I'm gonna type in 1280 by 720. And this way we have a 16 by nine image. Then we're gonna type in a prompt. And for our first scene, I want to enter in a lush green forest. So I'm gonna type in a forest with butterflies. Let me type that correctly and vibrant colors. I'm gonna make it green. And now we're gonna hit generate. So now that is done and you can download it right here if you're happy with it. Otherwise you might want to change your prompt a little bit and we're gonna do this for all the videos that we have. So depending on your script, you might want to write out a custom little prompt for each sentence. So for example here, Benny, a small brown beer with a curious nose wanders about, he sniffs the air. I tried it multiple times and it didn't let me sniff the air. So this is the best I could do. Then I tried to make multiple different angles. So here he is in a tree. Then here I have him with a friend, which wasn't my intention. Then I have the forest right here. Then I have him here holding some honey. And this way you can just generate your images. Besides that, keep in mind that we animate them in the next step. So I've now created a new folder with all of the scenes that I want to include in my story. So we go from having a shot of the forest to a brown bear, to the brown bear sniffing the air. Then we have a beautiful oak tree with butterflies surrounded by it. Then the honeycomb with bees flying by. And then we have the beer getting excited because he spots the honeycomb and then he climbs that tree and he gets the honey. So that's basically our story. We're now ready to animate it in step number three and that is going to Pika Labs to animate our images. With Pika Labs, you have two different options. You can either use it through Discord and in my opinion, that didn't work as great as it works on the website, but through the Discord, you can use it for free all the time. Then the second option is using Pika Art and here, same as Leonardo, you also have a few credits available. You can use these credits to make your images. And then uh, once you're out of it, you have to get a paid plan. So let me now show you how you can turn your image into a video. Here we go to image or video. Then we're gonna go to our document, animated story. Then we select our first image, click on open. Then we can describe our story. So we're gonna select a forest with butterflies flying around camera zooming in in your prompt right here you can be as specific as you want to be if you want to have it 4k quality if you want to have a camera specific prompt then enter it in there if you want the camera to zoom out zoom in or you want to pan it to the left pan it to the right you can do all of that in pika labs so once you're ready with your prompt you click on generate and now this also takes around 30 seconds while that is generating, you can do all of your prompts at the same time. So instead of waiting for each of them, just do them all at the same time and then you can check the result in the end. It's now done generated and these are some of the scenes that I have generated with Pika. So first of all, we have a beer eating some honey. Then we have bees flying around through the honeycomb. Then we have our butterflies and the camera slowly zooming in. Here we have a bear walking. And then we have a bear sniffing the air, but it's not that great as of right now. And keep in mind with Pika, you can even add in some sound effects. So for example, if you want to have some bees zooming around, we can click on edit, then we can go to sound effects and we can do bees zooming. Now it will generate a sound effect for us. Keep in mind, this will cost you some extra credits. So you can also do this later in the editing. But if you don't have access to a tool like Epidemic Sound or Artlist, then you might want to do it through Pika. It has now generated three types of different sound effects. Let's just have a listen to it. So yeah, that sounds exactly like a beehive. You can choose your favorite part, then you hit continue. Then you're gonna select the part of audio that you want to attach to your video. I'm just gonna leave it like this and now it will be attached to our video. The next step is downloading all of this and then we can start editing it in CapCut. You can use any type of editor that you'd like. CapCut is a free tool that anyone can use. 
So I'm gonna show you how you can edit it in CapCut. Within CapCut, we take our Eleven Labs voiceover, we drag it in there, then we take all the videos that we have created, then we drag them in there, and now we can start editing them. We start off by importing the voiceover through here, and then we can start adding in all of the scenes according to our script. Once you've imported in all of your clips, you've set the right timing on each of them. And then you have added in some sound effects. You can find those on Epidemic Sounds. I will leave a link for that in the description down below where you can get a 30 day free trial or you can find any other free audio library for this. Then we add in some effects. We go to effects for this. Then you try to find the mini starts and you're gonna overlay that on top of your edit. So this will make your video look even better. Once you're done with your editing, you hit export, then you're gonna export to your desired file, and then boom, your video is done. Now, here's a look at the finished result. In a lush green forest filled with twinkling sunlight and fluttering butterflies, Benny, a small brown bear with a curious nose, wanders about. He sniffs the air, his nose twitching as it catches the sweet scent of honey. Benny follows the tantalizing aroma to a tall, majestic oak tree. High above, nestled between sturdy branches, he spots a golden beehive dripping with shiny, sticky honey. His eyes light up with delight. He climbs the tree and breaks the twine the honeycomb hangs on. Then Benny shared the honey with his friend Bob. Make sure to click the link in the description to get the complete step-by-step -step guide that will help you further. You will also get access to the custom ChatGPT story generator. And also, if you want to see more videos where I generate things with AI, then watch the video that's on the screen right now. You can use that AI tool yourself to turn normal looking videos into cartoon looking videos as well. If you'd like this video, make sure to subscribe, like, and if you have any questions, comment down below. Then I will see you in the next one.